Hey everyone, it's Rika from Silver Logic. I just wanted to do a real quick video on how to add Google Analytics to your Go Imagine account so that you can see when people come to your site and you know gather more information about who's how they're getting there, who they are, you know, whatever Google Analytics will give you. It's pretty straightforward on how to set this up, but some people might not know how to do it if they've never used this before. There are some written instructions and I will provide a link to that in the description box of the video. And you might have to, sometimes YouTube hides part of the video or the instructions, uh, or the description box, I guess is really what it is. Uh, so you might have to press a little down arrow um, to see everything. But anyway, here we go. So the first thing you need is an actual Google account. If you have never made a Google account, um, then you're gonna have to set one of those up. And that you'll have to do on your own. I already have an account. I'm signed in. Um, I'm signed in under right here. And, but I've never set up analytics with this account. So when I go to analytics.google.com, uh, it's going to ask me to, you know, it's, it's going to say, hey, you know, it's going to show you the screen. <laughs> and we're going to say, set up for free. And now, depending on um, how you do this, and another account that I have that I use for, um, some of my clients and, and some of my other websites that I have. I have, um, I have one main account and then I have like sub accounts under it and, and they're for different things. So you may want to just set this up as a single account or, um, or you might want to make like a general like name of the account and then what this one is for. I'm just gonna go ahead and name this. Um, I'm using the Go Imagine test account for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this name for it. And um, you can leave all these check marked, or they're not really, um, unless you use them, you don't really need them. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave them check mark and press next. And then we're gonna, it's asking us what we're gonna measure. And we are just measuring a web, with something that's a website. So we leave that alone, click next. And now this is where we name like what, what website this is. This is where I was talking about um, Kind of it's nesting so that first name we put in the account setup is kind of just a general name and then this is where i'm going to write go imagine because this particular tracking id i'm going to set up is just for tracking on go imagine so let's say you sell on other places that um, or you have a website that you can track too maybe you want to keep all of that stuff under one account but have separate tracking ids so you have the data from these different websites um, and they're not intermingled. Now we need to put in our URL. So I'm gonna go back up here and copy my URL of the base, you know, from my base Go Imagine store. And the first thing I'm gonna do is change this from HTTP to HTTPS because we are secure on Go Imagine. And they want you to not type in the first part. So you just put everything before there. And we pick a category and we're shopping. So you just can start typing shopping in the box and then click it. And then you can pick your uh, time zone. Then press create. It's gonna ask you to agree to all these different things. I've already read through them in the past, so I'm just gonna press that I agree and I accept. And now it's gonna ask, because this is the first time I've set this up, it's asking all the stuff. If you ever, when you set up more uh, accounts or sub accounts, you won't be asked this before, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just press save. And I'm not doing that, we don't need this. But now we need to take our tracking ID, which is right here, this number right here. We need to copy it. And we need to go back, or not back, we need to go into our account on goimagine.com. So this is when you first log in, this is your dashboard. You need to click up here where it says visit the maker and then the name, it should be the name of your uh, shop. Click it. And that takes us to all of the settings, you know, for our shop. So we need to go into optional settings and then put in a tracking number. There was already one there. Uh, this, this is a testing account, but yours should not have anything in there. You just paste in the one. This is the one that we just created over here. And then we just press save. And now it's saved in there and that's all you have to do. 
And then once, uh, you know, this is all done, so we can dismiss that. Our property's all created. So now we can press the little home button up here. And we, since we only have one account in here, there isn't anything else under here. Um, so like, this is what I was talking about. This is the main account. I, like I said, I have other clients, so I have multiple accounts here, and then underneath them is the property. This is the Go Imagine property. And then you could make one, you know, for your website or whatever, instead of having a completely separate analytics account. Um, but since we only have one, we're only seeing one, and there's nothing on here yet because nobody's on there, though we could test and see. We don't have any products, so I don't know if it will actually show anything. It's not showing up anything, but it does work. I did test it on my uh, personal Go Imagine account and it'll just start collecting data and you'll probably want to check in, you know, maybe depending on what you what you're using this for, you know, check in every every week or so and kind of see how things are going. So anyway, that's all you need to do and I hope this helps.